I like what you said there, a pocket full of sunshine today because you would want to keep it in your pocket through the weekend because it's going to be in short supply starting tomorrow afternoon and evening. So do not get used to the blue sky out there as clouds have kind of broken up around the area this afternoon. It's going to turn out to be a pretty nice Friday evening and night but then things are going to change tomorrow. So it's comfortable now in the 60s, and that's where we'll stay through about 830, 8, 830 until the sun goes down, and then we'll slip our way down into the 50s overnight. So we're kind of sandwiched in between weather systems today. Yesterday's rainmaker is off to our east, but already the next one is coming in from the west tonight. You can see the storm center down in Oklahoma. Severe weather will stay to our south, but we are likely to see a good soaking rain begin tomorrow afternoon and evening, and it's as if we need any more rain at all. So far, month to date, we are right on the money for the month of April, a little, a little over just shy, I should say, of about three inches there. And notice for the year to date, we are closing in on close to three and a half inches above normal. Get this, over the weekend, we could pick up a half a month's worth of rainfall between Saturday and Sunday. By that, I mean maybe one to two inches of rain for a good number of us. All right, here we are back downtown right now, 65 degrees at the airport. Things are pretty quiet and temperatures are fairly uniform around the area. Most of us are in the mid 60s at the moment. Temperatures range from 67 in Mason and Hamilton to 65 in Oxford, Georgetown coming in at 65, Maysville at 65, 65 in Walton Union at 67. You're 66 over around Versailles. Let me walk you through Futurecast here. It is quiet tonight. Essentially, it is quiet through the first part of the day on Saturday. So you've got something to do tomorrow. You'll want to do it in the morning through lunchtime as it remains quiet. And you probably have up to about three or four in the afternoon. After three or four o'clock, rain begins to build in from the south and west, and then it looks like the rain only gets increasingly heavier and more widespread through the evening. It looks like a soaker, and notice with that little spin on top of us, it keeps the rain basically over our head through Sunday afternoon. That's right, it may be two or three on Sunday before we begin to even see the rain come to an end. And by the time all is said and done, look how much rain adds up across the area. Right now, looking at about an inch to two inches on the higher side here by Sunday afternoon. So again, a lot of rain to come here starting up tomorrow evening. So it's comfortable tonight. Enjoy the dry weather while it lasts. Tomorrow, dry early with rain in the afternoon. It will turn breezy too, 65 for an afternoon high. Again, you've got something to do on your Saturday. Do it before about 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Here's your 7-day forecast. All right, the rain lingers into Sunday. A little bit of a break on Monday, Stephen and Ashley, and then it looks like more wet weather before a cool down comes towards the middle and end of next week. All right, I got some fertilizer to lay down, so I know I'll put it down right before that.